Hello everyone. In this video, we will be solving word problems on law of sines and law of cosines involving directions. Before we go over this example that we have right here, let's have a review on directions. We remember that going to the right, we will assign that as east, going to the left, west, up, north, down, south. We're going to use this direction that we have here in drawing these examples that we have. Let's take the first one. The first one says five kilometers south. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the um, direction guide. So it says it's south. So south is going downward. So we can go ahead and say that this line that we have right here is going to represent five kilometers and it is directed south. So this is how we represent five kilometers south. Now let's take the second one right here. It says nine centimeters west. So we're going to draw the direction guide and then um, going to the west would be going to the left. So this means that this would represent nine centimeters. So that is how we draw nine centimeters west. Now let's take the third one. It says seven miles south, 37 degrees west. So what are we going to do is again, we draw the um, arrow guide. So again, this represents the east, west, north, and south. When we say south 37 degrees west we start measuring from south going to the west at 37 degrees so from south we go to the west 37 degrees so i'm just gonna um approximate this to be 37 degrees and i will draw the line right here okay so this is representing seven miles south 37 degrees west. Now let's take the next one here. It says 250 meters north, 70 degrees east. So remember, we start from the north, we go to the east, and that is 70 um, degrees. So if we were to sketch this, so this is how it's going to look like. So we're going to draw the arrow guide. So this is our north. We measure 70 degrees all the way to the east. So this let's approximate this to be 70 degrees right here so then we can go ahead and say that this would represent this 250 meters so i'm just going to label this as 250 meters right here and so this is again 250 meters north we started from north we go to the east 70 degrees now let's have the next one right here it says 45 feet, 25 degrees east of south. So when we have this notation right here, we start measuring from the south going to the east. So we're like doing it backwards. So if we were to draw this, this would be the arrow guide right here. And then we start from the south, we go to the east, and then that should measure 25 degrees. So that would be, uh, let's say this is 25 degrees right here. I started from the south going to the east, and so this line that we're going to have right here is going to represent the 45 feet. And so let's move on to the next one here. So we have 310 yards, 85 degrees west of north. So we start from north going to the west and it should measure 85 degrees. So if we were to draw this, this is how it's going to look like. Again, we start from the north. We go west. 85 degrees. So let's say this one right here is 85 degrees. And so we can draw the line and this line right here is going to represent 310 yards. Okay, going back to the examples right here, city B is located east of city A. City C is located north 20 degrees east from city B. And at the same time, city C is located 65 miles 50 degrees east of north from city A. What is the distance between city B and city C? So what are we going to do here is that we're going to draw the direction for each. So it says here that city B is located east of city A. So if we were to have this as our city A at this um, point right here, so this is our city A, 
it says that city B is located east of city A. So again, this is east, west, north, south. So we can go ahead and represent this one right here as our city B, because again, it is located um, east of city A. So we can represent this again as city B right there. So it's gonna be on the east side of city A. Another condition that we have right here, city C is located north 20 degrees east. Remember, this one will be measured from north going to east at 20 degrees. So we start from north because it says that city C is located north 20 degrees east from city B. So we start from city B, north of city B, we're going to measure 20 degrees going to the east. So let's say this one right here is 20. Let's approximate this as 20 right here. So then this is the location for city C. So let's just label this as city C right here. So we actually can draw a line right here. And then it says again that city, city C is located 65 miles 50 degrees east of north from city A. So when you say east of north, we start from the north, we measure 50 degrees going to the east, and that is from city A. So from city A, we measure from the north going to the east. Again, the measure for that is 50. So let's say this one right here is 50 degrees. And so we can go ahead and sketch this um, line right here that connects city A. A to city um, C. So that's what it says in the um, problem. And then the distance between city A and city C is 65 miles. So I'm just going to label this as 65 miles right here. So then we can go ahead and look for whatever's missing. It says, what is the distance between city B and city C? So city B and city C right here is the one that's missing. We can take this as our x okay let's take a closer look at this picture that we have here we remember that this um from from east going north is 90 degrees this means that this remaining other degrees that we have here since they are complementary this one would be 40 degrees and then this one right here is 20 and then remember from west going north, that is 90 degrees. So that we can go ahead and redraw this triangle. Okay, so if we were to redraw this triangle that we have up here, it's going to look like this, and we're supposed to solve for x. Looking at this, we can go ahead and say that 110, the partner for that is the side across from it is 65, and this 40 degrees, the side across from it is x. So that we can go ahead and use the sine law for this. So we can set this up. First, we're going to write sine of um, that's going to be um, sine of 110 over the uh, side across from it, which is 65. And that is equal to the sine of the other angle, which is 40. So I'm just going to write sine of 40 over the, the side across from it is x. So that we can go ahead and cross multiply this to solve for x. So these two is going to get paired up. These two are, uh, would be paired up so that we can go ahead and rewrite this as Okay, the distance between city B and city C is 44.46 miles. Now, please remember that before you solve problems involving law of sines and law of cosines, make sure that the, your calculator is set to degrees. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so we go over the problem here. It says that two ships left Port M. Ship A sailed to Port Q located 150 miles north, 10 degrees um, west from Port M, while ship B sailed to Port P located 200 miles, 75 degrees east of south from Port M. How far apart are these two ships? when docked at their designated ports. So we're going to draw the um, triangle or the picture for this to better see how it looks like. So we're going to start with port M. So let's say this one right here is our port M. So um, this is where uh, the original port is located. So I'm going to label this as uh, port M. This is the starting point. And then it says in the problem that ship a sailed to port Q located 150 miles north, 10 degrees west. So if we have this notation, we start from north, we go to west, and then that should be 10 degrees. So again, from north going west is 10 degrees. So let's say this one right here is 10 degrees. So we can go ahead and draw the line right here going to that's going to be port Q. So I'm going to label this one right here as port Q. And then on the other hand, it says that ship B sailed to port P. This port P is located 200 miles, 75 degrees east of south. So when we say east of south, we start measuring from south going to the east, 75 degrees. So this is south. We go to the east, 75 degrees. So let's say this one right here is 75 degrees so that we can draw the um, line right here going all the way to port um, that would be port P. So this one right here would be our port P. And so if we look at the problem here, the, fir the distance from M to port Q is 150 miles. So I'm just going to write here 150 for this. That's 150 miles. And then um, from port M to port P is 200 miles. I'm just going to label this as 200 miles. And so the problem that we have here is that we're supposed to determine the distance from port Q to port P so that we are going to um, have this as our X. So I'm just going to draw a di direct line right here and let's name this as our X. Now let's look closely at this triangle that we have formed here. So we remember that one quadrant is 90, but we get 75. This means that the remainder of this is a complementary angle with that of 75. So this one right here is 15 degrees. And this one right here is 90. So this is a right angle that's 90 degrees so that we can go ahead and rewrite this triangle. So I've redrawn the triangle right here and we're supposed to solve for X. Now looking at this, we can actually use the law of cosines for this to solve for X so that we can go ahead and say that our X squared is actually equal to that's going to be the sum of the square of the two remaining sides. So that would be 150 squared plus 200 squared minus twice the product of these two and the cosine of the angle across from the missing side or the angle that is in between the other two sides. So that we can go ahead and um, get the sum of these two. We square this first and get the sum. So this would come out x squared is equal to this would be 62,500 minus if we are going to multiply 2 times 150 times 200 times cosine 115 that would come out negative 25,357.10 rounded off to two decimal places since we have two negatives here we can actually change this to plus and plus and so this would come out x squared is equal to that's going to be 
if we add these two together, that would be 87,857.10. We want the X, which is the distance from port Q to port P. So we're going to square root both sides to get rid of the squared. And so we are able to get the value for this would be X is equal to 296.41 miles. So this represents the distance from port Q to port P. Now, please remember that when we solve problems involving the law of sines and cosines, we are supposed to make sure that our calculator is set in degrees. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.